Hello everyone and welcome back to Coco for Disney. I'm so glad you're here. Today, um, I hope this isn't going to be too long of a video for you. I apologize if it is, but have quite a few things to go through. I have some pin mail from a, a very good friend on YouTube. I have pins that I have yet and have been wanting to show you that from when uh, we had the Disney World trip back in November, the first part of November. So I really wanna share those pins. I will turn the camera around to share those with you. And then I wanna show you my pajama party Disney haul. <laughs> so it's just a few items, not a lot. Not a big haul, but um, just in time for a pajama party that I'm wanting to have. So should we get into it? Now this is someone I have been wanting to do a pen haul with for some time. I've been trying everything to find a reason to have a pen trade with her. So this is a pen trade from Creatively Sandra. She is so nice, so sweet. And if you are on her channel, oh my goodness, um, pens galore in her background. She also is, just as her title says, very creative. So we decided um, to do a pen trade. Um, we we're doing the um, Princess Carousel, Villains Carousel Horses for the Pink Allen Mode pins. And then we were also both found, we were both doing the Nutcracker. So that's where we got our trade in is on those Disney Nutcracker pins. So let's get into it. I love the pink and I love pink polka dots. Oh look, <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, these are beautiful. I'm gonna show these. Look at these stickers, they're puffy stickers. Those are beautiful, the princesses. Oh my goodness. Those are gorgeous stickers. I love those. And then I've got a little, oh. <laughs> Sticker with Jasmine. So here's her note. Pam, I'm so glad we finally worked out a trade. Yes, yeah, so am I. <laughs> we are now both Nutcracker complete. Thanks for the pen trade, Sandra. The cutest little note. Isn't that pretty? Along with the princess. Oh, that's just adorable. <laughs> so let's see which ones. Do you know which one I needed? And here he is. My last nutcracker that I needed. And it's Wally. <laughs> and that's a complete set now. So let's get him on the board so you can see that complete set. But there's Heimlich Boo. And there's Dante, had to have him for Coco. Carl, Ratatouille, Remy from Ratatouille. And of course now Wally, thank you, Sandra. And there's um, from Soul Joe, and I forget, is it Two Six? Two Six, I can't remember. And then there, and then there is Jesse from the Toy Story. Such a nice complete set. I'm so happy to have these. They're um, actually were holiday pens for Disney, but I think they're year round. That Heimlich is adorable. But thank you so much for Wally. I love him. Thank you, Sandra. Let's see what else she's got here. Oh, my, there's a lot of stuff in this bag. <laughs> oh, the adorables. Oh, she sent my favorite princess. Aurora. Oh, and my one of my second, Tiana. Tiana's one of my top five. Keeps going back and forth. Aurora stays at one. <laughs> Those are adorable. Thank you. Those are so cute. And this is Lady Tremaine. Isn't that beautiful? I have the series one complete, and now I'm working on um, series two, which I doubt that I'm going to complete. But this side is series one, and this right here is series two. But just really cute horses, such a um, great series to have. So thank you, Sandra. Now I have Lady Tremaine. <laughs> All right, I have one more pen here three pins. Oh, yes! <laughs> and then I collect Hercules, so she gave me Hades with Pain and Panic. I just love him. Oh, he'll go, my um, Hercules board is right over here. He'll go perfect on that. 
Thank you so much for the trade, Sandra. You guys need to check her channel out. Um, she not only does, um, um, she'll, she does pens, but she also will do a lot of DIY. She does swap boxes. I believe um, she does all kinds of pen trades, And but her creativeness, um, you need to get on her channel and look at her background and look at her upboard. Every time I watch her, I'm like, my eyes are drawn to the upboard. She also collects Penelope, which I, I want to see that collection up close because she's so colorful. So thank you, Sandra. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I'm so glad we finally got to trade. So next, how, why don't we get into the Shop Disney haul? How's that sound? All right. So, a package. <laughs> and you know how I love this stuff. Oh, I love it. I love that Disney tissue. Always love it. I wanted to do a pajama party. We love having movie night, but I think having a pajama party night would also be fun. So, I got them each. <laughs> Coco pajamas. <laughs> I'm hoping they love these. I really am. Look, it's his little face. <laughs> and then the little sleeves have all the little icons from movie, the sugar skulls, the guitar. And then the little pants are the same as the sleeves. I thought those were darling to start them off on, so I'm really excited to have a pajama party with them, but that's not all. And now that they've got their pajamas, Coco had to have some pajamas. <laughs> So I did get, they had the sale going on and the Cocoa Pajamas were on sale. They feel amazing. Just like the Aurora ones I got not too long ago. And these are long sleeves. These are something I can wear in the winter because they're the long pants. Oh, I just can't wait to wear these with them. <laughs> That's gonna be a fun pajama party. <laughs> and then I will show these up close as well. While I was ordering the pajamas, I thought, okay, um, it was, um, I believe everything was 25% off on this one. So, I had to get the set of four Encanto pens. And these are nice sized pens. They're not the jumbo pens, but they're a good size pen. And they have a rose gold backing. They had one other pen that was for sale at the time. And it's a We Don't Talk About Bruno. <laughs> So what I'm going to do is turn the camera around so you can see the pins. I don't do well at focusing the pins, so that's why I'm going to stop here um, and turn the camera around and show you all the pins that I've gotten Disney, plus the pins um, that I've gotten here from Shop Disney. So hold on. So the first day that we were at Disney, we went over to the Character Warehouse. The char there's two Character Warehouses close to Disney World, and I picked up some pins there. And I, of course, had to get this is, these are character on parade pins, and this is, uh, I believe, Simba. And these all open up. Isn't that neat? Very cool pin. So I have one other that's just like this. And guess who it is? It is Maleficent. So if you go to the Character Warehouse, you get great buys on pens there. And of course the pens, look at that. Can you believe that? Isn't that gorgeous for a Maleficent pen? You can buy pens there. Um, so this pen was $19.99. And I believe we got this pen for, I believe, $5.43. So the Character Warehouse has some great deals on their pens. This was another one. This was one that was from Pen Trading Nights. This again was at the Character Warehouse. And then my last and final pin I'd gotten from there, and we'll, this will start off the collection that I got at Disney World, is Daisy. Now see, that pen is $7.99 and was $17.99. So if you get a chance while you're in the Orlando area, make sure you hit those uh, character warehouses. Just some very nice pins. So starting off with Daisy, I'm gonna start off with the um, another pin of her and then go into one of my ever, other different girls that isn't a princess. And this is one of the new series that is in the park right now. Uh, the floating, floating down Main Street. I did gift a Pinocchio one like this to Simone. 
These are limited edition pens. And then one of the next characters that is not a princess that is also my girl is Marie. This was a limited uh, release pen, but if you can see, this is rubberized, um, the little macar macarons. And look at her just sitting on top of there. So then another pen I got of her. She's just so darling. <laughs> so pretty and pink. So cute. So in starting with those, so in starting with those two characters, let's move on to the princesses. And of course, you know my favorite one, Aurora. They had a lot of these pens in the princesses that they were carrying at the time. You'll see one a little bit of Ariel. And then they also had these pens of the princesses. And I believe these you can also get on Shop Disney right now, but just such a pretty pen. I believe these are what they call rack pens. So our next princess that's in that same series is Belle. And then another pin that I picked up for her just because I thought this was a pretty cute, cute pin is the mirror with Belle's face in it. Just beautiful. So then the next pin, <laughs> the next princess I should say, is Ariel, and this is that series I was talking about where I showed you Aurora. She's in her beautiful pink dress. They're in different, um, I believe Bella's in her provincial dress, so they're all in different dresses other than their ball gowns. And this, look at that, isn't that beautiful? Her red hair, and look at that green, the sparkle in the backgrounds. That's one thing that I loved about these pins. These are very nice pins if you're wondering about getting them from Shop Disney, they are gorgeous. So next, I kind of wanted to get into a couple of the um, series pens that I really like. Um, this is called the Supporting Cast Pens, and I do have a couple of them. I traded with Sarah, uh, Sarah's Disney Magic, and I have a Cinderella one from her, but I had to get the Peter Pan one because my grandson, again, collects the, the Peter Pan. But look at all the characters in there. A lot of detail in these pens. And then I did pick one more up because I collect him. Disney Pinsomniac, you're guilty of getting me addicted to Hercules. <laughs> but look, the muses are in there, Pegasus, Phil. Just a bit, adorable, adorable pen. But I love these supporting cast pens. I'm hoping I can collect more of those as well. Now then for my son who loves the Lion King, as I said before, I did pick up a Timon and Pumbaa. I try to get uh, a Lion King every time I go. I think they call it the um, Disney Rewards um, pen for those who carry the um, Disney, it's not the Disney credit card, but I believe it's a Visa. And if you have that card, you can pick this pen up. I believe Sarah's Disney Magic showed this on her channel as well some time ago. And then as we went into Epcot, had quite a few pens from Epcot. Um, because it was the food and wine we were coming in off of that. And this is a limited release. I love this pen of Tiana. It is a, a very thick, thick pen and has some pen on pen action there. But she's got that pot of gumbo she's cooking. And then also at Epcot, I love the Paris pens, the Disney Paris Epcot pens. And there's one of Mickey and Minnie. Mickey just planting one on her right there. <laughs> and then I loved this one of Minnie. There's some more pin on pin with this one, as you can see there. But she's in a little pink dress and there's that Eiffel Tower behind her. Now when we were, were in the Paris area, um, we went in and they had these pens. These are Disneyland Paris pens. So if you go into the Paris Pavilion, and I can't remember the store, it's a little boutique, I believe it's where they have the perfumes. These pens were sitting in a basket. And then here is the other. This has Tinkerbell on it. 
just gorgeous pens. Nice that they had a few of the Paris pens. They don't have a lot of Paris pens in that pavilion, but I was glad to see that they had just a couple. We were in a Magic Kingdom, and this one was quite cool. This is a limited release. This is a Classon pen, so it's covered. And then there's a pen on the pen, but it is the map of Disney, I believe Magic Kingdom. Isn't that just cool? I loved that, had to get that. You can barely see it, but it's very, very pretty. Got a popcorn bucket that was Mr. Toad's Wild Ride, so I had to get a pen to match that popcorn bucket. <laughs> a Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. We don't have that ride any longer, unfortunately. It was a fun ride. We stayed at the Coronado, which I love the Coronado. Um, it's probably one of, if you want to have a quiet spot uh, to stay at, very nice. And I got two pins from the Coronado. I'm going to start picking up pens when I stay at the resorts. I see people do that and I just want to do that a little bit more. And this one I loved. This is the 20th, this is a limited edition. And this is the Three Caballeros. And it is pin on pin again. But there you have the three of them. <laughs> adorable. Let's see. And this was adorable. I picked up one for her, but I had to get one for myself too. Um, for some reason, it, the pins at the resort will have a lot of uh, pictures of Minnie with the hat on like that. And this just has a little open frame door. Just really cute. I went into Coronado Springs again when I got the other pens and I saw they had these Christmas pens. Um, and if you see, they're a little, um, this one, um, Coronado Springs this time was <laughs> from the Emperor's New Groove. So this pen turns around and then it has little emblems of the movie right here. The, look at the sparkle around the trim. Very pretty. But I love that they made the backard to where you could turn it around. <laughs> so then when I saw this pen, that was when I wanted to resort hot air. And uh, there above you see the um, Riviera, the two R's that you'll see at the resort. There's the red sparkle around the edge. And then as you turn it, who do you think that is right there? Give a little hint. It is Mother Gothel, and there is Rapunzel. These are such cute pins. I wish I had gotten more of them because these were their Christmas pins. I really wish I'd gone to more resorts. I believe the beach, oh, the beach club had Ariel, and I did not get it. And then this is the contemporary. Again, the blue sparkle around the sides. Can you guess who that is with that stars, that blue, and the moon? Haha. Uh -huh. <laughs> and this one is Fantasia. So all of these were limited edition and I believe they were out for Christmas. So that is the end of my pen haul from Disney World. Is there one in particular that you really liked? I love the resort pens. I love these Christmas pens. Those were probably some of my favorite along with the um, supporting calf pens. And I loved Tiana, loved her, What was very happy to have gotten her. And then I also loved um, the pens in Paris. So let me know which ones that you liked. That is it. That is the end of the pens. So thank you so much for sticking around for so long and I'm um, looking at all the pens and being here. I hope you have a wonderful day, week, and month. And as they say in the parks, have a magical day. Bye now.